Well, welcome back to my channel in Queensland, Australia. Now the temperature today has already hit 32 degrees, so it's pretty warm. We are expecting a few storms around, so that's why it's so hot, obviously. And there's a bit of humidity around as well, so we're in for a pretty warm afternoon. Yeah, the one thing I love about gardening, and I think all gardeners find, is their gardens evolve and change all the time. And sometimes when we put something into place and believe that that's going to happen, whether it be something to do with the weather or the shade in your garden or just needs in your garden, things will change. And at the moment, we have three water tanks in our garden. We have these two water tanks here and we have this water tank in our back garden. Now, this water tank uh, will collect 22,000 litres of water so that's a fair amount of water for us to be using in this area so the last six months it's been very dry here where we live we don't get an awfully high rainfall here so when it does rain we need to harness that water and we do love to have the sprinklers on we do like to have the grass green around all the gardens that we have so we thought we had one little space left here in the front yard and for us it made absolute sense to put in another water tank so between the one in our back garden and the three that will now sit in the front, we have the capacity to store 80,000 litres of water. Now that is going to be fabulous in our dry time. This time the project is complete. So this one fills and it goes over into the second one. The second one fills and it goes over into the third one. And it fills this. And if we should be lucky enough to fill this one as well, which we could in a real big downpour, it will overflow there and run down here towards the back garden. With 80,000 litres of uh, capacity here, we have a lot of water. And at the moment, we have about 350 square metres of roof with our house and our office. And soon we'll be adding another roof here with a carport of about 42 square metres, so close to 350 square metres. So if we get a 100 mil downpour, we will have 35,000 litres one and a half of these. So once again, we start the rain dance. <laughs> 